Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. The 100k challenge where everything is freaking cold. As you can see, the map is basically frozen, except we got a few nice little warm spots now. We got our food our food room here, which is pretty warm. And we're kind of heating this water down here with the tepidizer. And we also got a warm area down here where this uh, steam geyser was located. And this water in here is actually pretty hot, so... It's going pretty well. We're working our way through the research. I got a few projects I want to do. We're going to need more food, that's for sure. Uh, this won't won't uh, keep all our dupes alive, I don't think. And we got something new here. Oh, spicy tight tofu. Bonus food, we like that. We'll take it. Okay, so project number one I want to get completed this episode is the... This thing right here, let's speed things up. Is the refining loop that I started last episode. So the idea is uh, water goes in, uh, it gets hotter when you refine metal, comes up along here and around here and hopefully doesn't freeze inside the pipe. It might because it's so cold, so I'll have to monitor that. And then I need to insulate the core base here, otherwise um, things will just get too warm. So I'll probably just build insulation down this way. And then maybe make this the bottom, because we already got an insulation bottom here. Kind of make this the, the bottom of the base for now. Now what priority are we doing that? Five. Make that a six. It's not an emergency or anything, but we want to get through it. And we got to continue the research, so let's see, see what we got here. At this point, I might just uh, start from the top and work my way down, unless there's something we really, really need. Uh, nothing critical. We'll want exosuits eventually, so maybe I'll... and Yeah, maybe I'll do that next. Food for the moment is not too bad. 37k with six dupes. Plus, we got some shovel eggs here, which are going to pop pretty soon. Uh, incubation 94%. I kind of want to get those guys trapped away before it's too late. Uh, someone had a really good idea. Just using pneumatic doors as the cage. Hmm. And the bottom needs to be doors as well. Uh, we can also use a bit of metal tile. But let's... Try something like this maybe. Uh, and then the bottom can be metal. We don't have a whole lot of metal. Uh, we're gonna need to refine a bit more. We could put a put a thing here. Never built one like this before. I use just usually just use all metal tile. I'm not even sure we need corners, but let's try that. That's gonna use up some of the metal we're gonna use for something else. But let's try that, and then we'll try to. Get those shovel eggs in there. Can we build an incubator? I don't know if I have that yet. I do not. So we can store it in a storage container though. Put a storage container there. Let's make this priority a nine because these eggs are gonna pop soon. Now the CO2 is starting to liquefy here, which is not good. Things are starting to warm up. Okay, so in here we're going to put uh, all the shovel eggs. Critter egg. Shovel egg priority 9. Just to get them in there. Trap them in there. And then hopefully they'll actually be trapped. I'm not 100% sure. But there go the eggs. Make sure they're all in there first. Yeah, three of them. And then let's kick them back out. And hopefully they'll be trapped in there. That's kind of like a cheap cage. We also want to feed them, so we don't have a... Actually, let's do ranching next instead of what I was doing. Ranching, I think, is up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Let's do ranching next. So the idea is to feed them enough to keep them alive and make, make it so they make two eggs. It takes 50 cycles, apparently, but... Uh, that way we can keep multiplying the shovel population. 
But uh, let's get this project done first. We're going to need conductive wire, which I think I researched last time. Conductive wire. We just need to hook all these up. And we are going to be out of metal because I used a bit of it. So we'll crush a bit more up. And I got uh, got some feedback about doing too many things at once. So we'll try to do one project at a time here. This water is actually getting pretty hot in here. And I think I've already said put ice and snow in here. Let's make that priority six so they actually get some ice down here. And we were actually going to pump some of this up. That was the plan. And let's get rid of this bottle empty here. Deconstruct that. And then cap this off. Dale, why are you sleeping in there? Are you I'm narcoleptic. Let's build a floor here. Low priority. And we're going to need a ladder out here. Let's leave some access here. And then build a ladder here for access. Actually, do I even need that? I think we could just do this. So we'll let them finish that in the heating loop here. Let them catch up. Oh, they, they hatched. That was pretty good timing. Okay. They do appear to be stuck in there. That's good. Are we going to need a critter feeder in there to feed them so they don't die? Looking good. Looking good. I'm tempted to take on one more dupe, but I think we'll hold off. These guys are still active. I'm a little bit worried that uh, dupes are going to get fried in here, but... So far it's okay. Maybe I should make this thing not priority 6, but maybe 5. I also want to start uh, using deoxidizers or whatever. I mean, electrolyzers. Just to make oxygen in the base instead of algae. But we'll save that for another time. Because we got tons of algae. Organic, let's check here. Actually, we're <laughs> we have f five tons of algae. But there's a bunch, there's big pockets of it all over. Let's zoom out here. We got quite a bit down here. So we'll stay, we'll stay on algae for a while. What else can we research here? Let's do animal control, maybe. We'll go all the way to gourmet meal prep. Now the temperature in the base is gonna stay super cold until we kind of seal the whole thing off. And we kind of gotta dig all this up as well. Let's get this wire done next. And that coal generator can be a seven. I think we have a bit more conductive wire here. Uh, 285, yeah, we can finish that off. And should that be on the same circuit? No, we were gonna put that on a different one because this one's already pretty, pretty full. So I'm gonna have a separate smart battery here. Just enough copper, I think, maybe. Maybe we'll crush a bit more. We don't want to use the crusher too much because it's kind of wasteful. We're going to switch over to this puppy. So yeah, this pipe. I'm a little bit worried that the water that comes out of here is just going to freeze, but if we keep it kind of moving... You know what? We should probably put it in a storage tank first just to let it kind of because the storage tanks are insulated let's do that so instead of going straight in we will go first um, into the storage tank to kind of buffer it and then in here so only this little this little bit of pipe will potentially have water stuck in it so 
We may want to insulate that part. Kind of running low on igneous rock. Okay, so that, that branches will be insulated. The other project I want to do is to get a little heating room to preheat dirt because we bring, when we bring dirt in here we do not want it to be uh, too cold. We could even extend this insulation a little bit here. And I want to pump a bit more hot water in here because it's kind of, the mass in here is not very high. So let's do, oh, actually I'm kind of stuck now. I don't think I can hook this up until I remove this. Okay, deconstruct. And then we'll pop this in here. I wanted to put it through a, a valve first, liquid valve just to kind of control what we put in there. And I better build a bridge, otherwise we're gonna have potential issues there. And we could probably heat this water up a bit more, but it's gonna get hot in a second here, so let's seal that up. And what do we got here? What do we get? More food. We will take it. Now I could extend the food farm this way a little bit. And we'll probably do that eventually. Okay, the water's coming in. Good. Gotta make sure this pressure in here doesn't get too high. And we don't want to use up all our water. But let's take a look here. Temperature, it's warming up. Okay, for now, let's turn that off. And let's turn it off at the source. Otherwise, um, I mean, we can do both, but we don't want the water to sit in the pipe and potentially freeze. This is actually filling up really quickly. <laughs> Let's turn it off for now. And just kind of see how fast it uh, cools down in this pipe. Not too bad. Okay, that's off on that end, that's good. If we turn this back on, it should suck all the water out of there. Yep, that's good. Okay, perfect. And we're going to grab some of this water as well for up here to get this loop done. Okay, priority one. That's not going to work. Yeah, I think we'll plan out the uh, rest of the insulation here. I'll have to change the priority on that. And we don't want sandstone. How much igneous rock do we have? A thousand. Okay, granite's not very good for insulation, but we'll, we'll allow it. We'll do this at priority two. And that's going to go along the top. You know, we could do it at this level and just move the grill somewhere else. I think I'll do that, because then we don't have to do it, go as far. Okay, there we go. Uh, granite, 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 okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need to actually get in there. So let's go this way. And we gotta hook the automation up here, otherwise we're gonna waste some coal. Okay. Waiting coolant. Let's get some water in there. Let's just branch off here. This has to be insulated. Actually, we can probably get away with granite. Just to get the system flowing here. And I think I'll actually put a bridge here instead, just to make it easier. And we'll suck a bit more water out of there. We haven't delivered a bit of ice yet. I guess that's okay. But it's nighttime. And once we get this core area here warmed up, we can probably switch over to regular bathrooms. Stop using the, uh, the crappy outhouse. Oh, and I'm kind of missing a sink here, I just realized. Let's put that in there. Other projects I want to do include a mushroom farm, probably up here by this carbon dioxide vent. Because it's coming out at 500 degrees and if we insulate it, it could start getting warm for us. So another low priority thing, low priority one for now, would be to build a little mushroom farm in here. We already got this light there, so kind of don't want to seal off this area yet. So maybe we can dig in here instead to get around and then build a floor and then a ceiling and try to just warm this up. Not too much though, because uh, it is 500 degrees. And we'll plan, let's see here, we'll plan some farm tiles like here. And this should pressurize with the CO2. That's the plan. That's a future project. For now, let's get this done. And let's get that water hooked up. I think that'll work. It should work. And we'll... I think I need to cut this pipe now. We don't want any more water going in there. Maybe 450. It's probably fine. It might, be, might even be getting too warm in here. 23 is not too bad. Research done. Ah, uh, yeah, these shovels. How, how long do they last again? I think 100 cycles. Their age. Yeah, 100 cycles. And I forgot to feed them, so let's get a critter feeder in there. And the next research, uh, let's just start from the top, work our way down. Okay, do we, have, we got power, we don't have our liquid yet. Let's, uh, Prioritize that bridge and turn the water back on. Oh, it is on. I gotta turn the pump back on. I actually have pretty high oxygen in here, high pressure oxygen. Probably use a fire pole here as well, because they come down here quite a bit. This I'll do as priority six, because, uh, should we make it out of gold? I think uh, we'll do we'll do we'll do gold down here just in case it gets too warm eventually. And maybe copper for the rest of the way. Open up 
open that up a bit for airflow. Okay, here comes the water. And I'm pretty sure it'll go this way. It should. And that should actually start warming up this area a bit. And then let's get something queued here. So we're going to do iron ore to iron just basically forever, I think. Actually, we don't have a lot of it. How much copper do we have? 136 tons. Okay. We'll do 99 of those for now. So we got coolant. Oh, I forgot to hook this up. <laughs> okay, we'll uh, do that first. Output. Oh, the input's over there. Hmm. Let's go. Is it insulated? It is. Let's use a couple bridges here. Kind of running low on insulated. Actually, does this need to be insulated? No, not really. Nothing else is. So, screw that. We'll use granite. Input and output. And then I'll have to drain this out. In fact, I, th I need to get rid of this bridge first. Actually, I could reuse this pipe here, <laughs> save myself some work. Okay, now we're now we're gonna queue up in there. That's good. And let's make this priority eight, maybe. And we're going to pre-position some copper and stuff here. Right here, just so they're all ready. And we need some coal in there. Gotta let them get... Oh, it's already... The battery's already full. Okay, let's set this battery properly. Make sure automation's working. It's all hooked up. Good, good. And we're going to stick... Copper in here. Priority 7. What's going on here? Something is broken already. 28 degrees. Can't quite tell what's broken there. Liquid pipe. Awaiting repair. Oh, it's because the water is stuck and it's freezing. Okay. This needs to be insulated for sure. Do we have any ceramic yet? Nope. Can't have water sitting in these pipes too long. So we'll probably have enough water to keep the loop going now. So we'll disable this again, even though it's out of power. Oh, perfect, actually. That was good timing. Pipsqueak. Very cute. Probably gonna freeze to death. Okay, we'll let them finish off those jobs. Get get that refining loop going. Make sure the water doesn't freeze in here. It is insulated, but it's not perfect. So that 44 degree water. We'll slowly cool down. And I'll have to be careful that the water doesn't get too hot, but I think we'll be okay. We should probably put some automation in there. And I just remembered we need a light. And there's no room for it there. Uh, that one should cover it.
Okay, pipe's all insulated now. That's good. Refining. Let's make this, uh... We'll turn the iron off for now. We don't have enough iron for that yet. We'll just do copper. Maybe make it a nine just to get them working on it. Okay, there we go. It's happening. It's working. And they gave up. No power. <laughs> it's not enough coal in here. Okay, let's make these eight. There we go. Oh. There we go. What temperature are we going to get here? 57. 56, 54. I don't know if it's going to make it all the way around. 52. 50. Oh, it'll make it. It'll make it without freezing. This is good. 44. So this should just get warmer and warmer and warmer over time. That's the... Uh, that's the dream, that's the plan. Probably seal these up for now. Just leave one way out. And that loop should just get warmer and warmer and warmer. 59, we're already up to 60 there. This is good. Let's seal this up as well. Now all this cold is going to pour in from this side, so we... Uh, it should be relatively insulated, though. Okay, so that's pretty good. Not much oxygen up here. We turned off the water. Let's make sure we cut off that pipe right there. We don't want any more water going in there. We had enough. And it'll, if it ever gets slack like this, all the extra will just stay in here and be relatively insulated. As long as we keep the pressure on here, refining metal. Should be good. Okay, next little project. Oh, what's going on here? Body temperature. A little bit too warm. That should cool down over time. I was going to pre-position a bunch of dirt here, so let's get that ready. We're going to do two containers here. How much dirt do we have? Polluted dirt. Um, actually, I gotta turn the stepadizer down a bit. Let's set the set it at 25 degrees. Because right now it's too warm. Okay. Yeah, we were looking at dirt. Agriculture. We got 97 tons of dirt. So five containers. We'll start off with just one. We'll fill this with dirt. I was going to put it in a little tiny room to heat it up. Priority 6 maybe is probably a little bit better. So we just want to slowly warm it up so when we chuck it in here it's not too cold. But right now we kind of want cold dirt in there. Priority 9. Let's set that to 8. <laughs> and let's... How can we cool this down quickly? Without... We could crack it open for a second. Just crack it open right here. Hopefully get a bit of cold air in there and then seal it back up. Hmm. We could put some ice in there. Just to cool it down, but that might be overkill. Maybe do one more tile. Actually, let's see here. 
Ah, it's cooling down. It's cooling down. It's making its way in there. The water is a bit too warm. We'll have to keep an eye on that. How's our cooling or heating loop going? 61, it's building up. Probably want to put some automation on this. So, let's see. Maybe a liquid temp sensor? Liquid element sensor, liquid pipe thermal sensor. Weird that it's showing that overlay. But we could test it right uh, here on the output and if it gets too hot we can shut everything down. Let's try that. Liquid. That's so weird that it's not showing the pipe. Oh, we can't build it in the tile. That's the problem. Oh, I guess we'll sense it on this end. Should be just as good. Okay, let me build that. Gotta fix my sink here. And we gotta get all this cold mass out of here. Okay, that's cooling down, good. Yeah, we got all this cold mass, we got all the CO2. We gotta bury the CO2 somewhere in kind of like a CO2 grave. I don't want it too close to the base. We could stick it... Um, down here somewhere. Let's just make a little floor here. We'll stick frozen CO2 down here. And if we get a CO2 explosion, hopefully it'll all just fall to the bottom. And we're kind of running low on food again. Let's seal this back up. Seems to be good. I think I might extend my food farm here. I think we can do it. So we need to dig down this way. Probably go all the way over here, maybe? I already have an abyssalite floor. That's a perfect insulator, so we'll leave that alone, even though it'll look a bit weird. This was the prototype, and then we'll expand, expand it. We could put another tepidizer in there. That's probably not needed. Oh, I forgot to feed these guys. Let's feed these guys uh, a little bit of dirt. Shovelable. Now they can eat a whole lot, so we want to make this uh, not too crazy. We want to keep them wild as well, I think. Oh, some free food. We're getting lucky with the food. Let's we'll set up our next research as well. So, laboratory loop. That's going to be a project. It's not super high priority. But we will do that at some point. Temperature up here is actually... It's like almost zero here, right in this corner. Amazing. Yeah, this this coolant is getting hot. 67. We can't let it reach 100, so... We definitely need some automation here, kind of pretty soon. Priority 9. Let's control uh, the metal refinery. 
with that. So if, it, if the coolant gets too warm, we'll shut it right down. It kind of has to be... Oh, there's, if there's no water there, it's not really going to work. Might have to think of a better system, but this will be more for the emergencies. So if temperature below, let's do 70, then keep it on, otherwise shut it off. How are we doing for coal? 20 tons. Okay, these guys grew up. Okay, they've probably been fed enough. We don't want to kind of use all our dirt up, so let's... Disable that for now. Oh yeah, and they puke up the dirt. I forgot. Oh no, they only got out. Crap. Oh no. Forgot that they could puke up the dirt and then get out. Hmm. Well, that's not good. This guy's escaped. Uh, we need a critter drop off. Gotta get him back in there. Uh, food, critter drop off. 39. We gotta get him. The escapee. And we're gonna have to probably seal this up with metal. Let's make sure we got shovels here, shovels and bull pups. Where'd he go? There he is. Get him. Do we have a rancher? <laughs> I don't even know if we have a rancher. I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. Okay. And we can probably... Morale requirements are a bit high, but I think... Oh, we'll hold off on that. Oh, when did he get selected? Okay, eventually this is actually probably going to get too warm in here. Minus 8, minus 42. It didn't take very long to kind of warm this area up. And maybe 70 is even a bit too high. Let's back that back down to 60 maybe. And we could use radiant pipe to make this give up its heat even more. I'm going to put one little tiny section of radiant pipe here near the bedroom and see what happens. Okay, we got our dirt here. Minus 100. How are we doing in here? It's a little bit chilly on the left. Let's finish this off. And we were going to stick CO2 in here. Liquefiable carbon dioxide. Priority 7. And really it should be sweep only, because it could be everywhere. We only care about the base. And we'll get, it's going to be warmest here first, so we'll probably just sweep priority four, maybe. Sweep all this out of here. And it's going to get warm here, too. How are we doing for water down here? Oh, 71 degrees. 
Wow. Let's put some ice temp ship weights in here. Now that's not going to work forever. We only have so much ice. 18 tons of it. Another thing I could do is just make one of these tiles a metal tile. And then the heat will conduct into here. Bit of micromanaging that, but I think that'll be good. Cancel a few of these ice ones. In fact, we'll just rely on this here. Okay, I do want to plan out my next project here. We kind of need a wall along here too for insulation, but... And we need some airflow. Let's do some airflow. Um, maybe here. Oh, we got liquid pee. We got liquid pee. It's actually getting pretty warm in here. I forgot about the liquid pee, the frozen pee. We gotta deal with that too. Pretty quickly, actually. Uh, where do we stick the pee? Hmm. We need a pee trough, a pee tank. I'm gonna put the pee tank over by the bathrooms because I'm gonna eventually gonna need something like that. In fact, hmm. This is actually. A little bit of an emergency. I'm gonna build a little tank here. And then put all the frozen pee in here. Get some deodorizers ready. Maybe not there, because that's going to be underwater. Okay, storage. Frozen pee will go here. And we'll put a lip here. This will be liquefiable. Polluted ice. Priority seven. So we can get all that peesicles into there. Maybe we'll do another one. So that the, when the base warms up, it doesn't all just. We also have. We also have carbon dioxide, and we also have liquid. Let's get a bottle emptier here. Actually, you know what? We can just mop it up and then let it gas off. But the CO2, we definitely have to get down here. Down here. Sweep only. Kind of want to sweep that up soon before it... Let's do a 7 here. On everything? Sure. Whoa, that's some hot pee. That's some really hot pee. Okay, the cooling loop, or the heating loop, uh... Why is this pee so warm? Does it come out of the dupes temperature? Not quite sure. More food, jeez, oops. We will take it. Okay, let's get ready here. We'll let the water come over first, I think. And then we'll seal the top up. And hopefully it doesn't all freeze solid. Not quite. 
Hmm. Kind of want to get that stuff out of there first. Let's do that first. Sweep that out of there. This might all start freezing on me. That's not good. We're going to need to pump more water later. That's okay. Yeah, we got the CO2 starting to starting to build up in there. Got to get it out of here. Did they sweep any of it up? I think they got some of it. I think some of it's liquefying as well. Carbon dioxide. Gotta let them catch up. Quite a bit going on here. Too many things. Maybe we'll reseal this until we're ready. And what research should we get? Let's keep going. Solar energy, I guess. Steam turbine. We'll be using that probably. All the pea is thawing. It's thawing. We could dump the water in here, but I think I'll just let it gas off to make oxygen. Come together. Could probably afford to take on another dupe, maybe. Once we extend this farm. And you know what? I'm not going to sweep all this like I did last time. We're going to do the same trick. I should have done this first. Uh, yeah, let's do it this way. We'll just rebuild the floor, let everything fall through. So much easier. Actually, let's just do it to here first. Means we have to rebuild stuff, but that's okay. And this abyss light, it'll have to go. You'd think I'd learn, but from this exercise. And I don't get stuck. Stinky air. Take care of that stinky air. Okay, I do want to get this ready here. Uh, fungal spore. Ready eight. Seven, maybe. We gotta seal this thing in. Actually, every time they go in the door, it's gonna let some stuff in. Doesn't need to be too huge. Got 
caving. Don't get trapped. Don't get trapped. Now it's gonna get bloody hot in here pretty fast, so maybe building the mushrooms in here was not the best idea. <laughs> not enough room. It's gonna just get too hot. And we got chlorine in there, melting away. Chlorine over here. Well, we'll deal with that later. Okay, all the CO2, we gotta pick it up. Everything is melting. Something hatched in here. How's this? Slicksters are gonna be alive soon. We don't really have a place for them to go. And they're gonna freeze to death anyway, so. Maybe we'll just try to eat them right away. Oh yeah, all the CO2 is just flying out of these as a solid. Let's get some more airflow, airflow going here. It's catch-up time. Now it's okay if some of the CO2 kind of liquefies, we just don't want like a giant, giant thawing. Let's finish this back off. And we're going to want some more water in there. How's the water temperature down here? Bloody hot. We'll bite the bullet here. We're going to... Some more ice in here. Or... Stick the ice. Uh, we should probably pre-cool it. And this, how's this working out? It's kind of working. Maybe we'll make a few more of these. Maybe just granite. Or should we use metal? I don't know. Let's use metal. Try to warm this up and cool the... Cool that down in the process. We don't want it to get too cold though. And when this geyser goes dormant, it could have some issues. Now, reed fiber. We're eventually going to want reed fiber, but we need good temperatures for that. If 
Fresh new morning. Probably afford to have another compost. And more research. Solid management. Some new stuff in here I've never played with. Conveyor rail element sensor. Could be cool. Could be interesting. Do you want to keep exploring as well? Let's, uh, let's head up this way. Priority six. And we're gonna have to open this up a bit. Get the air flowing for them. Someone said I should try to do a, another 100 dupe challenge on this map. Could be difficult. <laughs> Could take some time. Oh wow, what the heck happened here? What the heck happened here? Got it really cold really fast. And all the cold icy dirt, I think it is. Okay, we need a dirt heating room. Where was I sticking that dirt? I thought it was here, but... I got polluted ice in there? What was I thinking? Okay, no liquefiables allowed here. Or here. I think I was gonna put dirt here. We need a we need a space heater. Right here. Oh, there's the dirt. Okay, uh, let's actually chuck that out. Put the dirt right here beside the heater. And power. How much power do we have up here? One kilowatt. Now we're not using this research table anymore. We'll get rid of it. And this would overload, so let's see how let's extend down here. Do some automation. If the temperature is below a certain amount, we'll keep that heater on. We probably want to insulate the top as well. Maybe make an even tinier room here. with dirt on either side, maybe? Just want to preheat that dirt. And I think I'll just seal up this end for now. Three containers should be good enough. Put that automation up. If the temperature is a below uh, 35, now yeah, we kind of want it just to be 30 degrees. Okay, that should work. So we'll preheat our dirt in there. These all just froze. <laughs> Let's get some... Like, we could put a space heater in here. Or we could pump more hot water up. 36 degrees. Yeah, let's do that. 
Pop that. Into here. And get this ready. Oh, it got cold in there really fast. Okay, wait a minute. Is this set wrong? If temperature below... What's going on here? It's green. Not submerged in liquid. What? That's as about as submerged as it could get. Maybe it needs more liquid. Oh. Not enough water in there, I don't think. Well, that's going to be solved in a second here. That's what happened. Okay, I think this is busted. I think this is busted. We might have to rebuild it. Because it's definitely... S oh, now it's submerged. Okay, how much did it need? Disabled. What the heck is going on here? Oh, it's warming up now. Okay. Things should start to warm up in there again. Gotta make sure we have enough water pressure. So maybe we can't turn this on just yet. And we're kind of running low on water, I think. Yeah. Might have to curtail our water use a bit. And I've gone over the hour mark. So I think we'll wrap things up here. Slow things down first. So next episode, get that farm going. Maybe do another tepidizer. Or maybe not. We'll see what's needed. We can also put space heaters in here. We'll preheat our dirt. Oh, our sixers have popped. We'll sweep up all the CO2, get it tucked away down here, and then maybe bury it. Just seal it in, like a tomb. And then maybe think about doing lavatories with a with a loop. An infinite loop, which will create a bit of water for us. And then think about a mushroom farm around here, maybe. And head up towards space. Because there's going to be hot regolith up here somewhere. Yep. Uh, and we got to skill up our dupes. We got quite a few skill points to spend. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.